what's up guys, Caustic Soda here. Today, finally, I am bringing you the Sony Vegas Pro 13 video. Uh, to start off, uh, you guys are going to need BitTorrent, because this is going to be coming from a torrent site. You can trust this 100%. This is the guy you're going to be getting it from. It is on piratebay.vg now, it's no longer .com. Uh, he's a VIP user, which means he's completely verified. You can check all the comments and stuff. Uh, all of them say that it works, and you can trust me, it does. This is what I use to edit my videos. Um, Cedars 2000, Leech is only 70, so it's going to be a quick download as well. First of all, what you're going to need is BitTorrent. So you're going to go to bittorrent.com slash bittorrent dash free. Or just type a torrent into Google and download it from there. Click free download for Windows and download this program. This is the first step. Don't take BitTorrent Pro because you're going to have to pay for that. Just click the free download and download that. Once that is downloaded, just install etc. And you're going to get a program like this. This is BitTorrent start downloading that program all you're gonna have to do is click get this torrent click get this torrent and say launch application and it is going to go to your torrent lists here it says the torrent you're trying to add is already in the list of torrents uh, I'm gonna say no because I've already downloaded this um, it's not even gonna go to your download folders and you can find it in your download folders it'd be called Sony Vegas Pro build 13 uh, go into there. From here, uh, I'm just going to go through this step by step through with you guys. You have to follow each step precisely, otherwise this is definitely not going to work. Um, to open NFO files, uh, you guys won't be able to open up this yet. So just go into here and it's going to explain exactly how to do that. Uh, basically, you just right click the file, select open with and then you browse and find notepad or wordpad once you've done that you can open up this and this is going to have all the different instructions on how to install this it suggests that you close your internet connection because if this program updates it's going to cause issues um, it will no longer work as well as a lot of things are going to delete it because it is a crack and most cracks are normally deleted by antivirus programs etc. So first step close your internet connection second step we're going to start installing the application to the default directory this is also very important as you can see in one of the comments here uh, the guy says yeah only works if you install into the default directory which kind of sucks because I've used all my space in the main hard drive but it is definitely needed else this will unfortunately not work you have to install into the default directory okay so start off here we are going to double click on this file here and then after that okay well we're basically gonna start installing this program over here uh, so we're just gonna say yes and follow all the different steps to install this. I'm just going to run through this with you guys. Uh, select install with current version. Okay, here yeah, already is an issue. I never closed my internet connection. So let me just close this up because it is unfortunately going to cause an issue. Uh, let's actually run this as, admi as administrator because in this little instruction thing it says you need admin rights. Um, I'm sure that'll make things easier and hopefully not cause an issue. Okay, so next, install current version. I agree the last. Ugh, I agree with the different license agreements, etc. Um, you can select a shortcut on the desktop, ugh, on the desktop if you like. Uh, just install this shouldn't take too long it's just going to install after that we are going to start the cracking process so let's just have a look at the steps along I mean I don't have much else to do <laughs> since I uninstalled my editing program I might as well talk this through with you guys um, so after we've installed this we're going to run the patch.exe in the patch cage, uh, KHG folder 
and then just click patch button that's in the activation pictures so in this folder over here we can see what's happening uh, after this we're gonna use our firewall to stop the internet connection of the application because if you update it it's not gonna work anymore uh, important some security software may give warning it is a false positive patch KHG was tested and it is clean you guys can trust me on this this is also my editing program of choice and this is exactly where I got it because this program is way too expensive for me to unfortunately buy <laughs> um, okay <laughs> Running out of stuff to say whilst this thing's installing, but we're getting there, guys. Um, I might end up editing this bit and just cut it out. I mean, I'm sure you guys don't want to see me blabbering on. Uh, but we are almost installed here, and we can start cracking this program. I might as well start going into the firewall section for you guys to show you how to add an exception there so that it doesn't connect to the internet. I did delete that rule earlier. I mean, I had to uninstall this to show you guys this. Uh, so hopefully I do remember everything. <laughs> uh, still installing, yeah. So we're going into advanced setting. Okay, there we go. Successfully installed. Okay, this can wait. Let's carry on, yeah. Okay, so step three, run patch.exe. Okay, so we go into this folder over here and we oh well, let me actually show you the activation fixtures so along. This is what it's gonna look like. Just gonna click patch. And then once it's going, it's gonna be licensed to the KHG team. Okay, so let's get cracking with that. Yes, and all we have to do is click patch. seems to be done. I think it's an instant uh, install of them. Okay, so let's check the next notes. Okay, uh, once we have done this, we need to use our firewall to stop the internet connection of the application. So here in your firewall advanced settings, all I did was I clicked on advanced settings in firewall. You'll find firewall in your control panel. Let me just show you that quickly. Uh, view by small icons, just go into your firewall, advanced settings, then we're going to go to outbound rules, create a new rule, um, you're going to select program rule that controls connections for a program, click next, uh, then you're going to click browse, and you're going to have to find this program, the default location, should be in program files, uh, not the x86, just the regular program files. Once you find it, just click on the exe, click open, and then next. Action, it should automatically already select block this connection, and that's all we really need so that it doesn't try and update. All of this stuff you can leave as is. Uh, it should be right like that. Name, just call it Sony Vegas. That should work. I mean, you're not going to need it, but that is as simple as that. And we are done. It has now created a rule which blocks the connection of the program to internet so it can't update. Okay, so we are done there. Like a stuff. Okay. Um, guys, I think this is it, eh? So now we can just go back to desktop and we should be able to run Sony Vegas. And we should be completely done. As you can see, here, it's licensed to KHD team. And that is all. Uh, you guys should definitely have a perfectly working program now. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, share, comment, and all those good things. 
please subscribe as well <laughs> if you enjoyed. I mean, it was a lot of effort for me to do this. Uh, this is a very good program, and I hope it helps a lot of people out. Um, I'm going to leave a link to my Bandicam video. This is what I use to record what I'm doing right now, and peace out, guys.